Well, I'm kind of surprised no one got, um, picked the Marvels. You know, uh, I'm. Um, I didn't, I didn't want to. I didn't, I didn't want to list any more than I already <laughs> had. I had more than enough. <laughs> um, You're gonna go top ten each month. <laughs> but I am excited for the Marvels. Um, I'm, I'm excited the that they're going. I'm most excited for that. Really? Yeah. And I, I, I'm not sure if anyone saw the uh, the, the uh, Comic Con trailer that leaked for like a hot second, but that looks really, really fun. Um, they're they're going like way more cosmic and whimsical it seems with it, and and, and, and just, so, so each one of them when they use their powers they switch bodies again. They switch, yeah, they switch like places in the universe, places and like that. yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Places. Or, but, but yeah, but they'll have to learn how to work together as a team to be able to defeat. Yeah, and I'm so, excited like, for three reasons. One, the director Nia DaCosta. Nia DaCosta, yep. And she directed the shit out of that movie. The script mm-hmm. wasn't. Fantastic, but the direction was great. So I'm, and the way it was directed was, was really, really good. And then Kevin Feige, she said, Kevin Feige gave her a lot of free range. She said, Can I do this? She said, Yeah, sure. Can I do this? Yeah, sure. She's mm-hmm. like, Wait, hold up. This is, I can just do all this stuff. Cool. That makes me excited to see her yeah. like, play in that sandbox. Second, mm-hmm. um, I'm excited for Kamala to be and Monica to jump to the big screen and interact with Carol. And I'm excited for Carol to get more to do. I think she hasn't gotten enough, and that's why she's not a fan favorite character. I just mm-hmm. haven't given her fun stuff to do. I just didn't like her first movie that much, Captain Marvel. I just, I just didn't like Captain Marvel. I mean, I really I like the it, character in general in the comics. I, I just, We're going to be on the opposite of that. I, I mean, love Captain Marvel. I love Captain Marvel. Not, just, the char- not the character in the comics, but the movie. I think she's just a douche. Mm-hmm. Not you know, in, in, this is the character what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know, like, well, and, and, and I didn't, I didn't really love the movie because I thought that they could have did more with the movie. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. honestly. I just thought they should they should have do done more. Movies, though. Yeah, but I mean, it wasn't. It's not like it's it's it, when it's a character you need to explain more about it. You need to do a better job with the story. Okay. You know, I guess, that's I, all. I, I, yeah. I, 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 I enjoy I enjoyed Captain Marvel. Yeah. I didn't uh, hate it, but I didn't hate it either. I, but I, I just think it was just, I, okay. It was just it yeah, wasn't it anything that just yeah. It, it didn't blow me away for a character no. who's that strong, mm-hmm. who's that epic. It just. Was a was a eh, movie. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's yeah. Nice. It, was only, it was boring. It it it, it kind of was. You know, there was parts where I was just like not caring about it. You know, there were some parts that were cool, but there was other parts where I was like, oh, okay, I don't know. It, it's don't know. the character is great. <laughs> um, I I think she's a douchebag, but she's a good. <laughs> it's just so was Iron Man. So was Iron Man. You know, but. You should have done more with it. I just didn't enjoy that necessarily. <coughs> Kamala Khan, I'm excited too, but they also didn't do a lot with Monica Rambeau. You know, so it's it's so mm-hmm. much that they can do more because Proton, Monica Rambeau should be huge. Yeah, yeah, so that's that's what I'm hoping. Yeah, I I think um you know with Nia DaCosta directing and just like um uh just like Zach said, her having a lot more um you know free reign and kind of influence than other directors in the past may have had because you know we we've seldom had like a full as much as I love the MCU there haven't been like too too many movies that really are influenced by their director so I, I'm I'm um I'm really excited for what she does with this. Oh no I think and phase four was all influenced by the directors. Definitely Everything um you know phase four was yeah, Multiverse of Madness was a was a total Raimi film. Wakanda Forever was totally, you know, he just let Ryan Coogler do his thing. I mean, Thor, Love and Thunder. So I'm saying all of those movies have been very um, director dependent. So that's why yeah. I'm like, you know, but mm-hmm. I'm hoping for the best, but it doesn't make me see I'm, it's anticipated because I feel like I'm more anticipated to see Quantumania because Kang is going to be a badass. Um, I'm more anticipated to uh to see uh what what's the other one um I'm actually I actually want to see Eternals if that sounds weird but when they when they finally do do that I really want to see that too I think I don't think that sounds weird because I think one thing so Nox said uh they like uh vulnerability in the main characters hence I don't like Captain Marvel I I saw that comment I was like that's a hundred percent it was just she was just OP'd from right away and her vulnerability was she was being held down by a man which Mm -hmm. I I get you know because she was overpowered so she had to be controlled by 
the the person who needed to control her power, but it, it wasn't it the really supreme wasn't intelligence on that bending? Yeah, it was a woman. It wasn't a man. Yeah. Well, no. Well, what's his name? Held her down the entire time. Um, uh, the Jubal? Supreme intelligence Jubal. Jubal. is the one that put the the chip the, 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 the chip the, 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 He's kind of the lackey, yeah. just like overwatching. He was doing the job of it, but yeah, yeah. But I rather yeah. see. I want to see Guardians more. Than I want to see it. 